All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Tammy Chase. I work with the Red Purple Modernizations uh, Program Outreach Team. And on behalf of CTA, welcome. Thank you so much for coming out on such a beautiful night. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. Um, I want to introduce and, and do a call out as well to the wonderful Alder people who have supported us from day one on this project, including the activation process that we will talk about tonight. Um, Alderman Clay from the 46th Ward was not able to join us, but Alicia is here from her office. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, we miss the older woman. Please tell her that uh, we appreciate her support. And with me, I have 48th Ward Alderwoman Lenny Mana Hoppenworth, and she's going to say a few words. Uh, Alderman Hoppen uh, Mana Hoppenworth has been a huge, huge supporter of ours, and we're thrilled to have her here tonight. Thank Welcome. You. I'm really excited to see all of you here. Um, as we mentioned before, you know, we, we came here for a hearing. It's the first time in a century that this is happening, where we're actually um, building a structure that has never been there before. And we have an opportunity to come together again to look at the designs from site design, collaborating with the CTA on what we want to see underneath the L. And we've never had this opportunity before in Uptown and then further north into Edgewater, where we're gathering folks' in, um, input, um, not only residents, but small business owners, also the Chambers of Commerce, and you all um, to talk about things about um, public spaces, public safety, public use of our way, and transit how it all fits in with housing and how we're giving people what they need, including a, um, an opportunity to create something that we've never had to, to um, look at before. So I'm really excited to unveil what we gathered from our first meeting and to present it to you today. And just know that this is the first of more conversations ahead, so there's nothing set into stone. We really want your candid feedback and your impressions on what they have um, to present to you today. And just know that your, your feedback matters and you matter. So I'm here available to you in Edgewater and part of Uptown up to Asia and Argyle. But no matter what our boundaries are, we are available to you, the older people, and we're working uh, with you every day to make sure that you get what you need. So thank you all for being here and take it away, CTA. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alderwoman. I really appreciate you here. Um, so I want to go over just a couple of little housekeeping things. I want to mention that this broadcast is being uh, featured on Facebook Live right now, just so you're aware, and it's being recorded, and we will have it on our website later, as we will the presentation that you're going to see. So if you guys were here with us in January at our public meetings then when we kicked off this activation process, um, we had a presentation, and then we had you go out and look at boards and give your opinion. Um, on, on various items related to how to develop the space under the L. It's going to be a little bit similar, but our presentation will be shorter, so you'll have more time out um, in, in, the, in the, the room upstairs. So with that, I will go ahead and get started. Um, so next slide. Um, I want to just kind of level set here and remind everybody what it is we're doing. Uh, last year, the CTA made a big decision to remove the 100-year-old embankment that was under our tracks between Lawrence and Ardmore. Um, and with that big decision came another big decision, which was, well, what do we do with the space under there? Do we fence it up? Do we leave it open? And we came to the, the decision, you know, talking with community members, let's do something really cool. And when you get to do something really cool at CTA, that's, that's a good day for, I know, on our end. So we're excited to be here to, um, to, to go through this process. Um, like I said, this is history. We've never done this before. Um, so you guys are creating history as well. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, our goal is to create a blueprint, uh, a vision for all 10 blocks, um, what will go under there, how will it be designed, how will it be built, how will it serve the community. There will be a lot of uh, staff here tonight. They're all, just look for a name badge, um, manning all the boards out there with, um, so you can do questions, give comments, et cetera, get explanations of things. I want to also emphasize that what you're going to see tonight is collaborative and interactive. 
This is not CTA saying, oh, we think we're, CTA wants to do X, Y, Z under the L. This is what we heard from you guys in January, and I'll go over like that, that feedback uh, process in a second. All right, so we can re-switch to the schedule slide. Thank you. Okay, so just a reminder of where we've been. January, we, start, we had our first set of meetings. We came out, we said, what do you guys wanna see? We were a blank slate. Um, and boy, did you guys come out um, uh, with lots of great ideas, a lot of thoughtful conversation. So now we are in the second set of public meetings where we're gonna unveil to you tonight the block by block concepts for all 10 blocks between Lawrence and Ardmore. So I hope you will find that in enjoyable and thoughtful. Um, in probably late summer, we will have our third and final set of public meetings in which we will give you the final block by block concepts um, and designs. And we'll talk to you about how we're gonna build it and roll it out, timeline, et cetera. All right, so switching to community engagement, next slide, thank you. Boy, did you guys come out in spades <laughs> in January. I've done a lot of public meetings at CTA and, and January's meetings were some of the best attended I've ever seen, including when we started RPM a decade ago, well, more than a decade ago. Uh, we had two meetings in January, more than, almost 500 people came. We had 300 comments submitted to us, um, as well as more than 200 surveys. Um, so to say that this community is invested in this process is certainly an understatement. Um, it was, it was really exciting and the staff was really motivated um, to work on this project knowing that people are so, so committed and excited about this. Next thing. So this is really cool, you guys. Um, we had two meetings just as we're doing this time around. Um, last night we had a meeting at, in St. Edith's Church up in Edgewater. And of course, we were at Truman tonight. Um, we did the same venues in January and the consistency in the responses that we got from both meetings was, was pretty remarkable um, in terms of what people had to see. People had really good visions of what they wanted to see. And it kind of made our job a little easier. Um, so consistently we heard that people wanted the following programming. They wanted green space, public art. They wanted spaces that were multimodal friendly, you know, walking uh, friendly, you know, passing through friendly, um, bicycle friendly. Uh, also, they wanted space for vendors, farmers markets, you know, just good public events. And these neighborhoods are, are known for their, their great events year round as it is. So this space just makes sense for that as well. So we also um, wanted to share with you some of the, the, the most common themes that we um, heard. Uh, parking was a big one, and it was interesting. You know, a lot of folks said, we don't want to just see this all turned into parking, and we heard you. Um, there um, were some requests for parking in certain areas, so when you do look at the block-by-block -block concepts, you'll see some blocks we have some set aside for parking, but by and large, people mostly wanted to see um, the other types of space that I mentioned just a minute ago. Uh, people also uh, talk to us a lot about safety concerns. We heard you loud and clear, and so some of the designs that we have developed you know, will include lighting, they'll include um, safety features like open, more clear sight lines um, and, and places that promote activity and people coming and going through the, the, the spaces. Um, next slide. Also in the designs that you'll see, uh, we uh, had to take into account site constraints. And what I mean by that is, you know, we have to be able to, at CTA, be able to maintain our tracks, get to them, repair things as needed. So we had constraints in terms of the types of things we could put um, under our L. For example, um, we can't have attachments to our system. Um, so unfortunately, that means no disco balls hanging off the, um, the uh, tracks, which would be really cool. Um, but, in, but in seriousness, we, we, we wanted to make sure that you know, we were protecting the integrity of our, our track structure, um, but still activating the space in, in ways that make sense. Um, another uh, constraint is just protecting an underground stormwater system. You know, obviously we don't want to put something that would disrupt that and create um, water problems for the community. Uh, but another constraint was just limited sunlight. It's dark under the L. That's not surprising to anyone here. So the idea of like community gardens wasn't, wasn't feasible. Um, but there is some green space programmed into some of the designs and you'll see that shortly. Okay, so I've given you kind of the, the, the background, you know, how we got here and now, where are we today? Our, um, 
goals and purposes for today is, is twofold. One is we want you to see the block by block designs, ask questions, give comments. Um, hopefully you'll love what you see. Um, if you don't, that's okay too, we wanna hear from you. Um, secondly, we want to hear uh, your opinion on new features, features within those block concepts and designs that we'll show you um, that you would like to see. So as I mentioned that we've got all these boards upstairs, there's an area that um, over here that basically is all the boards with all the data that we collected in January. If you wanna dig into that and learn a little bit more on that, um, we have a row along the wall behind here that is the block by block. So if you're here and I, I just wanna see your block, it's there, um, so go take a look. Um, you can see the types of elements that are proposed to be placed in each block as well as kind of a color coding, um, for example, the pink color coding is, uh, I believe it's play areas, orange is plaza areas, and so forth. So there's, there's a good way to see um, what, what is going where. In addition, we have a huge road plot map that's along the wall over here, and you can see those, the same things as well if, if, you know, if it's crowded. All right, so now we're getting to the, well, it's all cool, but this is, this is one of my favorite parts. So the types of features that you would like to see um, and there's four categories. We have the categories of uh, plaza areas, play, fitness and sports, as well as the identity um, of your community, how you would like to see that highlighted in the, um, in the, in the, in the designs. Um, so we're asking you to go, go to the boards, take a look, and choose your top three favorites. Um, there'll be like little sticky dots um, that you can put on the board. Someone will be there to guide you. You can also put sticky notes, you can fill out comment cards as well. Um, we wanna hear from you, even if you think, well, I don't know if this is worth mentioning, just mention it, it's, it's worth it, and it will help inform the, the design as we go forward. If you see something that we haven't thought of, you know, like, hey, why didn't they think of this? Tell us that, we wanna hear that as well too. All right, so after tonight's meetings, uh, we'll take in all the feedback that we've gotten from last night, tonight, as well as anything we get through, you know, email and other, other channels of communication. We will create a final design. As I mentioned, we'll come out uh, later this summer with uh, those final concepts and a rollout plan in terms of how we build it and when the spaces will be available. So again, look for people with badges um, if you have questions or need some guidance. And um, just a reminder, um, the fact that you all are here tells me that you know how to stay informed on this project, which is great, but we have a number of ways to reach us. This presentation will be uh, posted online, so if you don't have this information, it will be up there. Um, we've got a community office, we've got you know, phone number, email, you name it, and of course we're here for you tonight. Um, with that, I will um, say thank you for listening and have you all go forth and have fun with this. Thank you. <laughs>